Hello and welcome back. I know it has been a while, um, but I am back after DEF CON and COVID and work. I have just been so busy, but we're coming back strong with a really awesome episode on the Hack5 Wi-Fi Coconut, where we're gonna go over the unboxing, some information about it, and then we're gonna go through setup. Now I'm setting this up on an M1 Mac. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this is because there are some additional steps that I personally had to take for the M1 Mac. Um, to make sure that the uh, software was compatible and I wanted to kind of put that in a video just in case anybody runs into that same issue. Now, Wi-Fi coconut. Oh, here we go. What? Wi-Fi coconut. Um, what is different between the Wi-Fi coconut and the Wi-Fi pineapple? I think a lot of people are more familiar with the Wi-Fi pineapple. The Wi-Fi coconut is brand new. Now they have different purposes. And to understand these purposes, we need to know a little bit about Wi-Fi and the channels and bands and all of that. So at home, you're probably most familiar with the 2.4 gigahertz band and the five gigahertz band. And then inside those bands, we have different channels. So the channels will range from one to 14. And depending on what country you're in, um, it will depend on which channels are you're using. So in the US, we use channels one through 11, but other countries can use one through 14. If you're not in the US, it might be cool to go look up and see what channels your country uses. And because we use all these channels, we have one through 11, we really only use actually three of those channels, which would be one, six, and 11. The reason that we only use three of these channels is because the other channels interfere with each other and they overlap. So if you are sending information on channel one and two, those are overlapping channels and that can cause interference. But one, six, and 11 do not overlap each other. And it's better to share that channel than to cause interference. Now the Wi-Fi coconut, it is a packet capturing, traffic capturing device, and it's going to capture traffic on all these channels, one through 11. I actually don't know if it captures on 13, 12, <laughs> and 14. I can't count, obviously. Um, but we will find out because I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably does. Um, we're not sending out any data, we are just capturing. So that is kind of the distinction with the Wi-Fi coconut. We are not sending out any data. Now I already, I can already hear the comment section. So when you do a packet capture on like a regular um, Wi-Fi router, uh, you're typically only capturing one at a time and they will switch these channels very quickly to try and capture that traffic, but you can end up missing things. And that is why a device like the Wi-Fi coconut was made because it can capture all of those channels without needing to switch. So you're not gonna be missing any data. We are going to open this. Okay, to be completely transparent, I did already open this and set it up, <laughs> but we're just, I'm gonna give you like the full experience, you know? Um, you are gonna probably get one of these little cards here that explains um, some information about the Wi-Fi coconuts and uh, front and back here. So check that out, make sure you read that. Um, there's information on the back of the box as well. Um, and a couple things that you are going to need with this is just a USB-C cable. Um, if you need like an adapter because you don't have USB-C on your computer, make sure you have that as well because you're going to want to connect this directly into your computer. All right. And one more thing before I forget, you're going to want to use a pretty decent USB-C cable that is able to power this device. I just stole the USB-C cable off my laptop charger. So hopefully it doesn't die during this video. That would not be great. Okay, anyway, so here we go. You open it up and this is what the inside comes with. It just comes with the coconut itself. Now I'm gonna pull this out. It has the serial number on the back here and this is what it looks like. It's pretty small um, and you know, lightweight. It's not super heavy or anything like that. Now, there are two, this is something that tripped me up during setup. So I just want to show you that there are two USB-C cable ports in the back here. One of them is solely for power. And the other one, if you're staring at it on the right hand side, is for power and data. 
So if you're going to connect to your computer, you're gonna to wanna to use the one on the very right hand side if you are staring at it to connect because I was trying to figure out what was wrong and I did read the manual, but I missed a page. So just in case you did the same thing, make sure you're connecting um, to this. And when you do connect, let me show you here. I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, so my USB-C cable is plugged in. We are plugging it on the right hand. And you're gonna hear the fan start going and you will start to see the lights turn on. These are just like little green lights. And I'm assuming this is some type of like boot up sequence that it does and when all the lights turn green, um, that means it's ready. I don't know. Darren <laughs> from Hack5, maybe he can comment on this and tell me. That's what I assume, so we'll find out here. So now that we're all green, I'm gonna switch the screen so that you can see my screen and we will discuss how to set this up. Cool. All right, so here I have the Wi-Fi coconut on Hack5's website. Um, if you wanna take a look at this, this device specifically costs about $199.99. You can see here. It goes over, see, if I would've, if I would've looked at this, I would've known <laughs> about these, um, these separate ports here. One's just for power. The reason that it has a second power um, port is because you might not have enough power coming from your singular USB-C uh, cable. I haven't run into that problem yet, um, but just so you are aware of that information. And so it actually does say on the website that it captures um, an array of 14 finely tuned 802.11 Wi-Fi radios. So that answers our question from before. Now, here is the dock section where it has a picture, all that. This is gonna give you more information about connecting your Wi-Fi pineapple. We have already, Wi-Fi pineapple, Wi-Fi coconut. We've already done that. Um, but in case you need information or you know wanna read the warnings or read the manual, this is where it is. Here, um, it tells you a little bit about the Wi-Fi coconut uh, firmware and software. And then you have the options for installing on Linux. Um, you have for Mac OS, which is what we are going to do, or Windows. So clicking on the Mac OS, um, you're gonna need a couple things if you don't already have installed on your Mac. And we will discuss those as well. So first thing you're gonna need is Homebrew. Um, Homebrew is a package manager here and on this homebrew website, you can like Google homebrew. I will link a um, link to this site in the uh, description. So in case you need that, um, you can just paste this and, and go through the install here of homebrew yourself. A lot of people, if you're familiar with, you know, working with GitHub or different, or how to use a package manager before, homebrew is a pretty popular and common one. We are gonna go back here and I'm gonna open up this terminal. We're gonna pretend like you didn't see that. <laughs> and we are gonna open up a fresh terminal here. And here we go. I am gonna see if I can make this font a little bit bigger so that you can see it. So just hang on with me. All right, I think we're good now. So we are going to go through the process here. Um, by installing some of the tools that you're gonna need to operate the Wi-Fi coconut. The first thing you're gonna do is do brew tap hack five Wi-Fi coconut. So when I was doing this on my Mac, it was fine for that. I didn't get this auto updated homebrew, um, which is fine. What I did have a problem with was the um, brew install Wi-Fi coconut. Now this gave me an error, um, which I will put on the screen over here. If you have that error, I'm gonna also link this in the chat. I used these commands here. It was an error with homebrew. I'm not exactly sure why we needed to do this for it to work. Um, but these commands right here I ran and that resolved the error that I was getting where I wasn't able to install packages um, like I should have. At the bottom here, um, they do have 
a compiling um, from source that you can do yourself, uh, which is basically what I used when I needed to troubleshoot. So I was able to brew install CMake and then brew install um, Lib USB. The Lib USB gave me an error and for whatever reason, doing the other thing, this right here, resolved that error. So after you get that error resolved, <laughs> then you can go back here and uh, install, um, brew install Wi-Fi Coconut. I already have Wi-Fi Coconut installed. Um, we'll see what it does. All right. This is still giving me an error, but I think I still have it installed. So let's go to just check. This is an example of the installation of what it should look like. Um, I did go through that after I had fixed the issue involving, I guess it might be something because of M1. I'm not 100% sure, um, but this is what I did. So this is what it'll look like when you are done. And then you can go ahead and run Wi-Fi Coconut in your terminal. Let's see if this works for me. And it did work for me. Thank you, demo gods, for that. So we will wait. Um, and then we're going to have an option to name the capture, which is what we're gonna do. I also, while this is loading here, want to go back and just kind of show you once you're done with the installation, um, it does have the option to integrate it with other tools. I have not done that yet. So maybe that's something that we could do together. Um, and then you can capture files. We talks about the PCAP here. You can do it through Wireshark. Um, and we should try and set that up today as well. So going back, let's go and name this YouTube demo. And that's what we will name this PCAP file. And boom, there we go. We are capturing, which is fantastic. I wanted to show you um, while you were capturing, the uh, Wi-Fi coconut here will actually blink all of these lights. And I think it's blinking when it is capturing on these specific channels. So that is what it'll look like once you are capturing. Let's see how we can exit out of this now that we started it. Cause I actually did not get that far before. So we'll figure it out together. All right, yeah, it's just a control C. So if you're familiar with Mac, control C. And now we will have that. Okay, cool. So we have our PCAP file, the YouTube demo right there, which is fantastic. So now that you have that packet capture file, you can do things like open that up in Wireshark um, which is what we are going to do. And then they also have uh, Kismet. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's a program that I'm not as familiar with. So if you wanna mess around with that or you are familiar with that program, that is also another option to do here. Okay, so I needed to install Wireshark cause this is a new laptop and I had not done that yet. So shockingly, how to do that. Now what we are gonna actually try and do is export the live packets to Wireshark. And it has this command here. We're just gonna copy and paste this into the terminal and see if it works. I don't know, I have not tried this yet, so we are going to find out together. Okay. Interesting, so it's just opening up every single one of those channels. Now. Now what? All right, hold on. Let's see. Oh, I don't have T Shark either. Rip. Okay, let me install T Shark. And the command I used for that was just brew install Wireshark. Um, we shall see if this works. That was done. It took like a few minutes. So let's give it a try now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's going very fast. <laughs> let's stop that. Oh my gosh, if I can. 
There we go. Control C. So we obviously have a lot going on here. <laughs> All right, let's figure this out. Yeah, that's what it does, basically, which um, honestly probably isn't super, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what the right word is. Probably isn't like gonna be super useful um, just because of how much traffic is always happening. Um, but you can also take the PCAP file that you had previously um, saved and open it up. Let me see if I can find uh, and find it. All right. So we do have these two um, packet captures. Let's just open. And there we go. Lots of broadcasts going on. But yeah. So, like I said, there's the also option under here for Kismet. Kismet? Kismet? I don't know. Um, and that is how you go ahead and install. You're going to want to do, like I said, Linux, Mac, OS, Windows are all possibilities here. Let me switch the screen back. Um, and if you have questions, uh, leave them in my comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, always open to really good feedback if you have any. Um, and if you want to see some videos about Wi-Fi Pineapple, let me know. I'll be happy to make those videos too. Um, thanks for sticking around and hopefully you enjoyed learning about the Wi-Fi coconut. All right. Bye everybody.